Good morning. Welcome to Saturday Morning Discovery. My name is Romeo Perez. I'm an artist, educator, and designer. I am here to help you today with a small project of trying to get this boring regular cereal box into actual three-dimensional space and architectural model. Architecture is the art and science of building in your environment. You can landscape your environment, you can build your environment to be three-dimensional buildings, models. The way I did this cereal box was with these tools. Some scissors, a pencil, a ruler, and some tape. And that's all you need to really get into design. Design is your art and the science of architecture is how it's structured to stay up. All right, so now we're gonna get into the process of making our environment. And we're gonna be doing that by grabbing our box. I'm gonna move my model. And the box, we don't even need to cut right away. First thing we need to do is find this seam. There's a seam here, there's a seam, you can find it on all cereal boxes. They have a place where they glued it and it's all on the end. It's on this side or on this side. So it'll be on your side here. So what I want you to do is take your fingers and open it, pull it apart slowly. And you don't even need scissors. You just slide your finger behind it like you're cutting with your finger. And you're just doing it slowly and pulling it apart. And just pulling it apart and keeping the glue, taking the glue off, okay? When you're here, that's perfect. You're gonna wanna come down here to the bottom now. The bottom of them is also glued. You can open it, put your finger behind it, slowly, patiently work it out and open it up. And now we have our building material. Now you're gonna grab scissors and you cut cutting off the piece that's going to be a little bit damaged. That's going to come in play later. So you just follow the crease. There's a little line right there and you can go slowly with your scissors. And there you go. And you're going to take this and you're going to put it off to the side because you're going to use that later. Now you're going to cut here on this piece. Now you have your first piece that you really need. So now we're going to cut this part and this part just like that. You'll take these two pieces and save them over here with your other material. Now you have a perfectly clean piece of material that you can use. And if you happen to like this part, the colors, you can fold it in or out. It depends. It's up to you. It's entirely up to you. It's part of your design, what you want to see in your model. So now this is the part where it gets a little bit a little bit tricky. It's harder to figure out where the middle is, but you can do it just by folding it like that. Okay, bring it closed and sandwich it. Now it's not gonna be 100% perfect. You're probably gonna have a little bit of a lip up here on the top and that's okay. As you fold it, you wanna crease the little pieces here. Fold it back the other way and now you have your center piece. Now you're gonna fold two more times. This piece will fold into here and this piece will fold into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now slowly, as you can see, like this. Once it touches, I bring it up so that I can feel where it is and then fold it down with just my hand. I'm not using any other tools, but just my hands and I'm pushing down on the edges to get this crease right here. Just push it down. And you have one piece and you just fold it over. And now you're gonna do the same thing on this side, just like that, and push down on it. And here you are, you have your pieces here. Now, this is gonna fold into this and this. And now you have your piece here. You have one piece of your set. You're gonna need two more pieces to complete it. 
Now this guy, this is the only one that we have left here. This one, we're going to use this piece as the guide to help us fold the other into the other side. Okay, so we're going to fold in this way. Fold it again on the lip and hold it here so you can get that angle. Now you got that shape again and then you're going to fold it straight down. Firmly pressing it. So now you got almost there. You need one more fold from here. So you got one, two, three, and you'll need one more and that'll be complete on that. And then you're going there, four. And now you have your box redone. And to see how this piece is, you could just throw that away. You don't need that. Just clean it up a little bit. Take off all that extra. You don't need the extra. And this reconnects with this, just like this. And you have your other set. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take off all of this side and all of this side. We're gonna leave this guy here because it's gonna help us in a little bit. Now we have our box folded. Our pieces are clean, our edges are cut, and we have all our scrap over here off to the side and we're saving it because we're gonna use that too. So here we go. Now we're gonna fold it, fold it again, and fold it again, and it should look like this. Now, it's not a box yet, and this is the best time to cut. You should cut either here to where you have a small piece and a large piece. You can cut in the middle. You can cut here and here. You can cut in two places. It's okay, but you'll have three pieces. So now that I know, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna bring my ruler into this because I wanna get it as straight as possible. So now I'm looking at using the edge of the paper here to keep my edge of my ruler straight. So now I'm gonna take my ruler. It doesn't need to be measured. It just needs to be straight line. And that's it. And we have a straight line all the way across. Now we're gonna cut this. And there we go. Since this is a smaller piece, we're gonna start with this one. Fold it in, and then we're gonna grab some tape and tape it like this, as best square as you can get it, okay? So I'm gonna do it this way. Some of you are gonna have, who like the yellow or whatever color your box is, you're gonna wanna put it like that. And that's kind of a cool box too. I have one that I did without, and one that I did with, I preferred, this because then I could draw windows in and other things later. So that's about as square as I can get it. See, so even I can't get it that square. So don't be scared, you can do it. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did with this guy, with this. And there we go, we got our second piece, okay? Now, we're gonna go back to that other piece that we made, this whole thing, this one face of the box, okay? So this box is now gonna be folded, folded, folded. This one was a little smaller, almost looks exactly the same size as there, but this is where gonna be a different shape. As you can see, I'm, everybody's gonna fold their piece, right? As you're looking at your piece like this, some of you are gonna have a little bit more length here or in here. Fold it out to where the big piece is sticking out over here. So what I'm gonna do is cut the slightly larger piece. So I'm gonna fold it back out, hold it here, and now I have my piece that I'm gonna cut right here. As you can see, this is the shape we're going for. This is the piece we're cutting. And that's it and you save this piece. This piece is actually gonna be a platform, something for you to think about. Put that off to the side. Now you have this piece. Now, this one I also want you to cut in half. I want you to either cut it in half, I want you to cut it in a small piece or a big piece. Some of you are gonna wanna cut one, two pieces, and then that means you'll have three. In this case, I'm gonna just do one cut so you understand. So now I know I have to have it like this. Now, I'm gonna fold it open. 
on this side so I can see my surface. As I make room here, I put my ruler there. I'm eyeballing it as close as I can get it. Don't worry about it. It just makes sense. You can, you can see how straight it is yourself and how much you want to cut off. So for me, I feel like that's more in the middle, that's less in the middle. I like, I like it to be off a little bit. That's my personal preference. Everybody has something different. I'm just gonna cut this. And we're all set. Now we're gonna tape this guy up like this. So you'll have one unit, the large one that you left, or smaller. The second unit, smaller. Third, small one. And then your fourth one, which I'm gonna tape right now. So I'll tape the corners the same way I did this one. So now you have your units. Now your job is entirely up to you. Now, what I did in my model, you don't have to do. You can actually change it. What I am suggesting is that you figure out whether this unit is attached to this. Is this going to be the way you want it? Don't forget your platform. Do I like this as an idea? And I kind of actually do. So I think I'm going to go with this. So now I'm going to start taping up. So you can change it however you want. This can go on top even. Then this can go this way. As you can see, you're starting to adapt to something you like. Now, for some of you, you're done. You love this, you don't wanna mess with it anymore. Perfect. But some of you, that doesn't quite cut it. So you're gonna to wanna to do more. Remember all that scrap we had? All this stuff? Now we're going to add detail. I use these smaller pieces to draw on. All I do is take a pencil and I do a little circle, triangle, and that's a person. You take your scissors, cut that out, take a little bit of tape, and now you have your environment. And you can tell the bigger you make the person, the bigger the, the, the model changes. And now we do trees. Trees are simple. Just do a lollipop tree. And that's it. And you got a tree. And now you cut that tree out and then you just do little trees. And then you tape it, put it on the bottom and tape it to the floor. And now you can get an idea of you're building your environment now. Now your environment is nature. So you're working with your nature around your building. So you're designing everything. I hope we had a lot of fun today. This is Saturday Morning Discovery. My name is Romeo Perez. And remember, you can always alter this. You can always change it and adapt it to what your aesthetic is, what you want as your design. Don't be afraid to open it back up to change it. If you like something, go for it. Thank you again for joining us, Saturday Morning Discovery. Hope you join us again. Have a good day.